Welcome back to video number four in this Dynamo tutorial series. Uh, in this video, we're going to start interacti interacting with the Revit database, uh, first off by making adaptive components on this surface that you see in the background. One way to create adaptive components um, on a grid inside Dynamo is to use Nathan Miller's excellent lunchbox uh, package. In order to get that, you have to go to the packages and search for Lunchbox. Uh, you can install this package directly inside Dynamo. It will introduce a lot of cool um, applications for making panelization and any kind of real powerful use inside Dynamo. So this note that I'm, doing, I'm making now or using now is the diamond grid um, that Nate's made. Uh, I'm going to divide a UV division into 10, so that's 10 divisions in, in each uh, direction, and connecting the surface um, to the surface input of this diamond grid. Um, Nate's node produces both points and polygons and faces. Uh, I'm going to use the points as a basis for placing adaptive components inside Revit. As you can see, the node has um, two different sets of points, the B points and A points, um, and these are the, uh, the, the, the basis for the four and three point adaptive components. Um, first off, I'm going to connect the, um, the actual size of my surface to the UV division of the uh, diamond grid uh, by using data that are already made um, earlier. Now, uh, making uh, adaptive components is pretty easy. You just have to make sure that the, uh, the output lists contain as many points as your, uh, your adaptive components. So I have one adaptive component with four points and one adaptive component with three points. The three point adaptive components are going to be my edge uh, panels while the, all the interior uh, panels um, have four points. Before I ever, Every time I, I start doing stuff with adaptive components or any kind of Revit interaction, I disable run automatically, basically just to have more control over when Dynamo starts speaking to Revit. Now F5 for run and Dynamo should start um, producing adaptive components inside Revit like so. Zooming out, you can see all the, uh, all the panels uh, with the uh, with the resolution division that I uh, set inside Dyn Dynamo. Um, the uh, four-point adaptive component panel is pretty simple, the three-point as well, but the four-point adaptive component has a reporting parameter that we will use later on to, to, uh, to work visually with the uh, deflection parameter. It, it basically uh, calculates the deflection uh, between the diagonals of the four-point adaptive component. Here you can see the parameter uh, reporting for each panel. 